If you are the type of person that goes OMG that's so cute, the moment you see a cute cat, the rusty spotted cats are going to take the prize in your book. The rusty spotted cats are believed to be the world's smallest wild cat holding the spot just beside the black-footed cats. The rusty spotted cats or Prionalurus rubiginosis are truly wild exotic cats who primarily dwell in forests of India and Sri Lanka. They have been by many referred to as a smaller and washed out version of the leopard cat Prionalurus bengalensis. But that is not all that is to know about these precious little beauties. Welcome back my fellow cat lovers to the third edition to our wild cat safari. In our first video, we discussed 10 incredible facts about the Floof Queen Palace Cat. And in the second edition to our wild cat safari we discussed 10 astounding facts about the cute killer queen, the black-footed cat. You can check out the videos on palace cats and the black-footed cats in the YouTube card and the description section below. Physical Characteristics You can clearly see where the kitty gets its name from. These cats have short, soft fur with the upper parts varying from reddish-brown to brownish-gray coupled with rust-brown spots. The belly and inside area of their limbs are stark white with large black spots. They have a short, rounded head marked with a couple of clear white streaks on the inner edges of the eyes. There are a lot of reddish-brown streaks on each cheek with the chin completely white. All in all, if you ever happen to spot one you will know you just spotted a rusty spotted cat. They have fairly big eyes with amber-colored irises and their ears are short, round with light-colored basal ear spots. The rusty spotted cats have short legs with feet that have black soles. Their tail is relatively long with respect to their bodies, is rustier than their body and unmarked. In short, they are cute, adorable and will fit easily into your palms. Cute isn't it? Okay, I know what you are thinking. Can you have a rusty spotted cat as a pet? Well. No. I know it seems that they can be domesticated easily because they to a great extent a scaled down version of your neighborhood tabby. But I want this to be made very clear that rusty spotted cats are exotic breeds that do not make good pets. Therefore, you cannot have rusty spotted cats as pets. The reasoning is pretty clear behind this. A while ago on a post on how to stop cats from scratching we discussed how cats have evolved from the wilderness to our domesticated environments. So while the domesticated cats that we're used to seeing most definitely have evolved to flourish within the domesticated walls, there are still cats out there that need wilderness as their home. The rusty spotted cats among others are designed by nature to evolve and flourish in the wilderness. And that is how it should be. Distribution and habitat. Rusty spotted cats find primary residence in India, Sri Lanka and in some parts of Nepal. Initial studies on the rusty spotted cats revealed that these cats only inhabited moist forests. Recent researches however indicate that these kitties can also find habitat in dry forest, wooden grasslands, arid scrublands and rocky hill slopes. Their physical features will depend on the situation and environment they exist in. And so depending on the ecosystem they exist in, their fur can have varying shades from rusty brown to brownish grey. They have confirmed presence in tropical forests of northern India. In Sri Lanka, they are found mostly in humid forests and arid coastal belts. There have been many accounts when rusty spotted cats and kittens were found in modified habitats such as old settlements, reforested areas and abandoned houses. This is primarily because most of these modified settlements are a hotbed for mice, rats and other small life forms which serve as food for the rusty spotted cats. Plus their size helps them to find and live in small constricted spaces very easily. Again, I need to point it out here that this doesn't mean you can have these exotic cats as pets. If you happen to find any of these precious beauties around your living space, you need to contact proper wildlife conservation authorities for proper action. Because and I will discuss this later that rusty spotted cats are identified by IUCN as near threatened. Ecology and behavior. As you might have noticed, in terms of the geographical expanse, the existence of the rusty spotted cat is very limited. And for this reason and their inherent shy nature, not everything about these precious beauties is known. These cats are primarily nocturnal which means they go out for hunt just like the black-footed cats mostly after sunset. During daytime, they spend their hours sleeping and resting in burrows dug by other animals, hollow logs, or places like thick scrubs where they can easily blend in. These cats thanks to their tiny size are very active, agile and can climb trees very easily. 
They use trees as vantage points to stalk and hunt for prey. In a video released by BBC the little kitty can be seen climbing a tree in search for prey. So cute, isn't it? Having said that, the majority of her prey and hunting happen close to the ground. When threatened thanks to her tiny size, she can execute rapid maneuvers to flee, hide into tree thickets, or in gaps between big boulders and stones. Her fur is an asset that helps her to blend in easily with the surrounding environment if and when needed. In eastern Gujarat, India, rusty spotted cats were observed to be taking shelters in gaps of big boulders. Another interesting observation was these kitties prefer to live near the edges of forest rather than in the dense thickness. This behavior is easy to understand as semi-cultivated areas offer a lot of rats and mice that they can prey upon. Reproduction and rusty spotted kittens. Given their solitary life, tiny size and limited geographical expanse not much is known about their natural reproductive behaviors apart from that observed in captivity. Most female rusty spotted cats remain in estrus for a short period of 3 to 5 days. After a gestation period of 65 to 70 days female rusty spotted cats give birth to a litter of 1 to 3 kittens. The rusty spotted kittens weigh less than an egg at the time of their birth and lack their trademark rusty spots which eventually appear as they mature. They most likely also develop similar to the domesticated kittens and that is pretty much all that is known about their reproductive behaviors. The lifespan of a rusty spotted cat is reported to be 12 years studied in captivity. Conservation efforts and threats to rusty spotted cats. As I pointed out earlier, rusty spotted cats are classified by the International Union for Conservation of Nature as near threatened. I feel so concerned now, every single video that I have created on wild cats on this wild cat safari is either vulnerable or threatened. And I don't think I need to tell you why that is. It is always humans not knowing how to handle their own freedom. I mean look at these tiny life forms. Why is it so that compassion from our human existence is insufficient to allow for the flourishing of beautiful cats like rusty spotted cat, black footed cats or palace cats? As you might have guessed the primary threat to these tiny little forms of nature is due to the destruction of their natural habitat by man owing to his petty little desires to have more land. Now I know there are a lot of wildlife conservation events that are happening at this moment to protect and conserve life forms like the rusty spotted cats. And they are very good in their own place but if you ask me, you know what is the truest way you can help nature? It's simple acts of compassion, like consciously restricting actions that harm nature, using natural resources only as much as one needs, go a long way. And do you know the single best way to ensure this planet is back to its beautiful jolly and playful nature? You knowing what you are. When you realize your existence here is not personal but something which is in tune with everything in this cosmos, and that you are the part of cosmos itself. When that happens you will treat every single aspect of this earth as you treat your own family because that is what it will existentially be for you. A part of you. I hope you enjoyed this video on rusty spotted cats as much as I enjoyed making it. If you have any more questions regarding these cats or any wild cats for that matter, don't forget to express them in the comments section below. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that I can have you as a passenger in our wild cat safari. But more than that I want you to subscribe to this channel so that I can shower you with cat love as much as I can. Take great care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one. Bye.